today I'm excited to be here to share my experience, experience and the application with RF Resimo to in that college. Today, my topic is attention on reproduction, intrauterine adhesion. With the increase of induced abortion, there are more and more cases of intrauterine adhesion. Intrauterine adhesion are also as known as Asmos syndrome. It refers to a mutual injury caused by various reasons, which causes the adhesion of uterine muscle wall. Clinical man manifestations of abdominal pain and menorrhea, decreased menstrual flow and infertility. The main impact is to lead the menstrual changes in women of childbearing age and in effect fertility. Intrauterine adhesion resection can effectively restore the shape of uterine cavity, but how to promote the growth of the endometrial membrane, prevent the recurrence of adhesion and obtain fertility is still a major problem. It is necessary to use various methods to promote endometrial blood flow and monitor the thickness of endometrium after operation so as to make full preparation for pregnancy of patients with fertility requirements. Let's look at the case of in the uterine adhesion. The patient do artificial abortion two times, significant, significant reduction in menstruation after the after the last abortion eight years ago, according to the patient's gynecological examination and auxiliary inspection, we got the patient's diagnosis, intrauterine adhesion. Our treatment plan is hysteroscopy. First operation, look at the video. We can see the uterine cavity is heavily adhered. The endometrium is thin, and the bilateral fallopian tube opening are not visible. Through the hysteroscopy, we got the treatment plan objective to restore the normal size and the shape and the uterine cavity, prevent adhesion recurrence, promote endometrial repair and the proliferation and the restore fertility. Method, expecting treatment is mainly used for patient without obviously, obviously symptoms and the fertility requirements. Blood dilation and the carotage are basically abandoned. Teacher's copy adhesion lysis is often used. We first dilate the, cer the cervix and enter the uterine cavity. We can see the uterine cavity is heavily adhered. The endometrium is thin and the, the bilateral fallopian tube openings are not invisible. Uh, they we used plasmal hook to cut the adhesion on both sides. This we pay attention to protect the inner membrane. Draw the adhesion tissue along the long axis. Open the bottoms of the uterine. Expose fallopian tube openings. Uterine adhesion electrotomy or be sound guided electrotomy will perform according to the specific condition of patient's adhesion. Integrate incision and the re retrograde resection. We use proximal hook to cut the adhesion on both sides.
you know, the, the adhesive along the long axis open the bottom of the uterine. Post active antibiotics to prevent infection. We use the long uterine scent for seven days. Estrogen and the projectile for on cycles for one to two months. Hysteroscopy after one to two months of cycles. One month later, we take first review. We look the video. The size and the shape of uterine cavity is nearly normal, but there is still a bit, a little bit interuterine adhesion. We take cold knife resection of interuterine adhesion and the scissors separating under direct vision. Cold knife can minimize the damage of endometrium and prevent interuterine re-adhesions. Single scissors can be used to cut radially along the wall of uterine cavity. If the corners of utero adhere to each other, they can be separated and adhered to opening the bilateral fallopian tubes under the monitor of B-mode ultrasound graph. She should be given medicine after operation. Two months later, we have second review. His chart copy showed the shape of uterine cavity was basically normal. The endometrium was normal. And the bilateral opening of a fallopian tube can be seen. Pregnancy mode should be selected according to the patient's condition and the patient's wishes after operation and the post-operative adjuvant treatment and assistant assisted reproductive technology should be recommended for, for surgery interuterine adhesion. Two months later, after the last surgery, we received good news. The patient successfully conceived this time. She didn't miscarry now. Also, regular injection of heparin calcium. Different adhesion size, different symptoms, different treatments. According to the special situation of patient's adhesion, performing intrauterine uterine adhesion exploration and the decompression in uterine adhesion electrotomy or ultrasound guided electrotomy and separation and biotics to prevent infection. Post-optive placement of intrauterine device balloon, cyclical treatment of estrogen and the proxygen, has just copy again after one to two months. After surgery and the post-proctive adjuvant surgery, according to the patient's condition and the patient's wishes, choose the pregnancy mode. Patients with severe intrauterine adhesion suggest assistance, assistanted reproductive technology. Pistoscopy intrauterine adhesion resection is the most commonly used method at present, which can effectively restore the normal uterine cavity, improve the menstrual condition of patients, and improve the pregnancy rate. Normally, a hook or fibro needle can be selected by working with the fibro RF flexible surgical system. Another solution can be selected by plasmo needle. Refertility concern, we can reduce the, the in, incident of uterine adhesion. We should improve in the variance of protecting of the itma and the reducing the damage of heat and the electric in the energy to the itma, reduce the bleeding strategy and, and so on. 
is that Hatchel's copy is often used in direct vision surgery. The use of cold knife technology is commanded in some cases with electrotomy is not necessary. We should improve in opera operation skills. This is our new hospital. Welcome to visit. Thanks a lot. That's all. <laughs>